You may regret that. He brought you face to face with the master of the mystic arts. Today we're going to discuss the best moments when superheroes went god mode in movies part 2. If you haven't checked out part 1 yet, I'll leave the link in the description and comment box below. So like, share and subscribe to prove that I'm worthy of your worship. Usually when I'm mentioning The Flash, it's always the speed force scene. I'm self-aware in case you haven't noticed. However, Barry Allen doesn't always have to go back in time to earn my praises. All he needs to do is save people's lives. The scene might be different, but the movie is the same because quite frankly, the DCEU hasn't really gone overboard with The Flash love yet. Of course, it's the Snyder Cut because it's got this amazing sequence where Barry saves a whole bunch of people from falling boulders. Of course, I'm going to shout out the visuals here because, come on, just look at all those lightning bolts. Get back to the tunnel. Tunnel, right. Aliens, bad guy, sword lady. You might as well call him Electro at this point. He doesn't completely nail it though as Cyborg comes in with a last moment save, but the scene is still good enough to land inside the top 10. Might not be a god technically, but if you know your memes, the Hulk is most definitely a badass god beater. I'll stop you, moron! Of course, anyone who bashes up demonic walls should be given holy status immediately, so this scene from Thor Ragnarok aces the cup. You wanted to know who I am? What the hell are you talking about? You'll see! You know, I can totally feel Valkyrie's frustration here. It's annoying when the evil dog just won't die. Normally, I'm all for giving love to the good old boys of the world, but it's safe to say that Fenrir doesn't deserve the accolade. That's exactly why the angry green giant does a stellar job of not only surprising us with an amazing entry, but he also throws Fenrir around as if he's a frisbee being flung for a game of fetch. The fight wasn't a straightforward win, but full points for Bruce Banner for defeating Hela's overpowered pet. Just for once in your life, don't smash! Big monster! You're not the only one cursed with knowledge. My only curse is you. Okay, I know what you must be thinking now. Tony Stark isn't a god and he gets defeated in this scene. But let me tell you something here. That's the exact same reason why it's on the list. The thing about Iron Man is that he isn't even a wizard or an overpowered alien. The man is quite literally a man. Take that off, what are you, big man? He has his intelligence and his wealth to help him out in dire situations like this one, and it only goes on to show fans like us that true power comes from the beliefs within your own mind. The very fact that Iron Man was able to give Thanos a run for his money despite him having four Infinity Stones was nothing short of a miracle. The Mad Titan had to throw a freaking moon at him for crying out loud. I stand by this entry because it is indeed a god mode moment. You throw another moon at me, and I'm gonna lose it. Tony gives everything he has in this scene, and he was ready to lay his life down if it meant protecting the fate of the world and his loved ones. If that isn't what gods are supposed to do, then I don't know what is. Yeah, my respect, Stark. When I'm done, half of humanity will still be alive. I hope they remember you. Okay, be honest with me, did you really expect to see Sonic the Hedgehog on this list? See, I'm like YouTube's god of surprises. After all the controversies regarding the initially questionable effects, we finally got a movie that catered to the fans and the grand finale of this film totally nailed it. First, let's just say that they might be called Chaos Emeralds, but we all know they're basically makeshift Infinity Stones. However, I don't mind any of that because we got to see Sonic turn into Super Sonic, which is basically a god hedgehog. I want to shout out Jim Carrey's flawless performance here as Dr. Eggman Robotnik because his acting really sold the scene to me on an emotional level. As far as the flexing goes, Sonic casually stopping the robot punch was a clear standout, and the fact that he was floating in midair while this happened <laughs> only confirmed the fact that he was on his god vibes. Mm. Oh, 
Oh, you gotta try this. Twenty nineteen gave us one of the biggest highs of modern cinema, which was Avengers Endgame. Yeah, I know what legendary directors like to term these movies, but even then, you can't help but acknowledge how much they've revolutionized contemporary filmmaking. Since we're looking for God mode scenes, I'm gonna talk about the time when Wanda Maximoff tore Thanos a new one with the kind of look that would make anyone wet their pants. <laughs> You just knew from the moment she gave that death stare that we were going to witness something brutal. Of course, Thanos had to go mess it up with his cringy line. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> Come on, bro. That's an angry girlfriend you're dealing with. You've got to give her a snack or something first, right? Anyway, the Scarlet Witch and her total domination of the Mad Titan was a highlight of the final battle. And that's a serious compliment considering how long it is. she up there all this time? Tell me, brother, what were you the god of again? Have you ever had a sudden moment of realization where you go, I'm way better than this? I felt it countless times, which is why Thor's awakening during his fight with Hela was extra relatable. His ascension wasn't only spectacular, but it was also completely mesmerizing. Of course, the immigrant song playing in the background took it to a whole other level, and the fight scene that follows is totally deserving of its praise. I mean, just look at this pose. Dude had more confidence than Andrew Tate on a random podcast. You could see it in Thor's sparkling eyes too, couldn't you? This was a man who just realized that he's an overpowered god incarnate. Also, bro needs to stop obsessing over Mjolnir so much. Don't chase after your hammers. Let them chase you instead. Yeah, but, I mean, this Thanos we're talking about, he's the toughest there is. <laughs> well, he's never fought me. Yeah, he has. He's never fought me twice. Remember when I praised Iron Man of doing noble deeds considered to be worthy of gods? Yeah, that was a nice wholesome moment, but let's face it, we're all just a bunch of Sigma males just waiting to embrace the dark side. Well, I can't involve Darth Vader in this, but I can call upon the true god of darkness, Batman himself. Honestly speaking, the Dark Knight already proved his worthiness after defeating Superman, but he's also gotta be the good guy, and he does exactly that by taking on all of Lex Luthor's goons guarding, you guessed it, Martha. I just can't get over how brilliant the scene is, because this is something even the gods won't be able to match if they ever drop down to the mortal world. World. Ben Affleck is brutal in this fight and shows no remorse whatsoever. Honestly speaking, if I was a villain, I would have included this as a demon mode entry. You are never a god. You are never even a man. <laughs> Never underestimate the long-standing legacy of an OG superhero. DC is doing it already with Michael Keaton's Batman in The Flash, but ironically, this entry deals with a film that showed us the original Speed Force scene by Superman. I'll admit that his intentions weren't as noble as Barry's, but I think we can cut the Man of Steel some flack considering all the hard work he puts in for us. The time reversal scene in 1978 Superman was a truly iconic moment, which still holds strong today because the effects were impressive for that era. Of course, I don't need to tell you just how much of an elite flex it is to be able to go back in time using your brute force and speed. Also, if you think about it, flying around the world looks a whole lot cooler than running around the globe. Sorry Flash fans, it is what it is. Oh, I'm sorry, did you have plans this evening? You okay? Who are you? A friend. Thank you for believing in me. You may regret that. He brought you face to face with the master of the mystic arts. It's 
kind of ironic that the top entry ends in defeat for the superhero. That doesn't take away anything from Doctor Strange though, I think he owned Thanos right until that final attack. The thing is that Steven was fighting an extremely strong opponent who was boosted by the power of the Infinity Stones and he still counted all his moves using nothing more than his magical powers. Bro didn't even use the Time Stone for this match, which I think was a criminal offence. I loved watching all of Doctor Strange's magic tricks popping out of the book and I particularly enjoyed how he immediately blocked the energy blast directed at him. Where on earth were these tricks when you were fighting Wanda? Oh yeah, right, it was just a case of lazy writing, wasn't it? You're full of tricks, wizard. <laughs> you never once used your greatest weapon. A fake. <laughs> And that's my list, I hope you enjoyed it. In the meantime, here's another video that I know you're going to enjoy.